Well, I'm finally gonna put this thing together. This is a Joker box. It's basically a grip box, but it's built out of all wood. It's very sturdy. It looks really great. This is my first one, so I'm really excited about putting it together and getting it in use. I do have a mess when it comes to my knuckles and my clips and all the other fun stuff that I carry with me in my van, but I think this is gonna be a heck of a lot better than say using a, you know, a milk carton, cart kind of thing, those plastic things, and those Rubbermaid things just fall apart and they're not very sturdy. This thing you can actually stand on, so it's kind of like having a, I don't know, you know, like an apple box that you can use uh, for storage. It also has some really cool other things you can do with it, like you can put a light stud on the lid and you can, you know, wrap it around a tree or a stump or whatever and, uh, and get some other use out of it. So really versatile tool. I don't know, they're a little over a hundred bucks, a little pricey, but I think it's going to be worth it because it's really well built and really well thought out. So let's get started. Let's put this thing together. Okay. Well, after reading the instructions a little bit and realizing that I need glue and I have an extra thing of glue, uh, I decided to move this little project over here to the table because I think it's going to be too difficult to do this on the floor. Uh, I'm not much of a floor sitter anyway. So I need to move my Drobo project off the table. Well, what is my Drobo project? Well, my fan went out on the Drobo and uh, this is actually a third party fan, but it doesn't have enough speed. So the Drobo was still overheating. So I still have a Drobo heating problem. Uh, I have a fan coming in today, so I'll finish this one up. It'll be easy. But anyway, that's beside the point. The Drobo stuff has to move so I can get the Joker box on the table so I don't have to break my back putting it together. And it's pretty simple. And actually what's kind of cool about this little project is, well, uh, the Joker Box people, they got a video online. It's uh, pretty cool. And I did do a quick check it out kind of thing. Yes, I do read instructions <laughs> because it requires gluing together. I didn't want to wing it. So I wanted to make sure I was doing it right. Yeah, you don't want to take it apart if it's glued because, well, you're not going to take it apart. You need to use wood glue and wood glue well is going to basically lock this thing down super tight so that's what we're going to do i'm going to move this drobo project off the table so i can put together the joker box all right well, here's most of it that's got a nice build huh well would you look at that i guess i didn't need my own glue look at that that goes onto the lid Mm -hmm. How cool is that? I'll use this from the mat to build it on. Maybe it'll protect the table, make the wife happy. Page one, and glue time. So the first one we're supposed to do here is the bottom, I guess. This is, no, this is one of the sides. This is the long side. So we're gonna need at least one of those. We'll need one of I don't know. We've got a lot of pieces here. That's the top, so we're not gonna need that for a while. Looks like we'll need this one and this one. And we'll have these two. Don't lose the screws. Looks like this. Pretty simple stuff. You know, it's a box, so we're just gonna apply glue all in these little seams here. See how that works. Alright, here we go. I'm one of those guys I think that always puts way too much glue on stuff. So I'm gonna try really hard not to do that. Now the video he shows kind of taking your finger and squishing it out. Pushing it out. See, I already made a mess. I'm not a carpenter. I'm just not a woodworking kind of guy. So this is, but this is kind of fun. All right, clean that up. Stuff off here. Might get the extra off. I don't want it to be messy. This might be the cleanest job I've ever done. All right, so we got that. And I guess we put glue on the other side too. 
I'm gonna take one of these, and do the same thing, apply glue. That looks pretty good. Inside of here too. There we go. Nice long bead. Oh boy. A little crazy there. Not fit too much over here, move it over there. Got the first piece in, woohoo! It would help if I had a screwdriver. And another. Uh oh, one extra. <laughs> well, that's it. Very cool. Check them out at jokerboxes.com. And whew, man, I am sweating. I'm telling you, it is hot in here today. <laughs> Check them out at jokerboxes.com and if you pick one up, hey, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you like yours and how you're using yours because I know I'm going to be using mine for a lot of grip gear, mostly stuff that ends up kind of being thrown in the back of the van where, you know, it doesn't have a real home. And like I said earlier, I don't really like using those milk crates because they're, they got cutouts in them and stuff gets kind of like lost or stuck in there and thing, little things fall out. So. I think my Joker box is going to really serve a nice purpose in that. Plus, I might get another one of these little trays. These are pretty cool. And I have space for another one. All right, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you on the next one.